is going on everybody? So today I have another video for you all and today's video is going to be all about fabric booty bands. So I'm going to show you guys where you should be placing your fabric booty band for optimal glute muscle activation. And depending on the placement of the booty band, which muscle group is being targeted and also the intensity of that activation. So I did want to mention that new fabric booty bands have just launched on my website. So these are some of the new colors, so they're more neutral based. So this color is a medium resistance, this light gray is a light resistance, and then we also have heavy resistance, which is this black booty band. And we also got a new resistance, which is X heavy resistance. So it's this blue band with the blue logo, and then the inside is this beautiful blue color and it matches the logo. So this band is for those who have been using heavy resistance for a while and they wanna step up their booty game to the next level. So I will have my website linked down in the description box and you guys can check out the new booty bands that have just launched. Also, if you watched my last few videos, I mentioned that the new Luna clothing pieces were gonna be launching in May, 2021, but I didn't have a date, so... I now have a launch date. Drum roll, please. It is Saturday, May 8th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure to mark those calendars, set those reminders as so, so, so many beautiful pieces are launching. We got new leggings, joggers, tank tops, sports bras, and so much more. So I'm so excited for this launch because we've never launched this many amazing pieces before. So without further ado, Let's just jump straight into this video. So I'm going to show you guys three different placements of booty bands in one exercise. And in that exercise, I'll be showing you what muscle group is being targeted with the location of the band, the level of that activation, which will be rated on a scale of low, medium, and high, and also an overall conclusion of which placement has the greatest glute muscle activation for that exercise and also why that is. So I wanted to do this kind of video because a ton of people are asking me to do a video on fabric booty band placement and I actually thought that was a really good idea and you know I finally caved in and decided to do that kind of video. Also it's a little bit different from my previous videos where I just film a workout whereas this is more of an informative video for you all. So the exercise we're going to be comparing booty band placement is good old squats. So I wanted to use a simple exercise that everyone knows about and then maybe in another video I can do another kind of exercise but we're keeping it simple for today's exercise so for this exercise the band can be placed in three different locations on your thighs the first placement is the high thigh placement the second is the mid thigh placement and then the third is the low thigh so basically in all three different placements, the band varies on how far it's placed away from your body. So in the first scenario, the band is placed closest to your body, whereas in the third scenario, the band is placed furthest away from your body. All right, so let's get started with the first placement of the booty band, which is at high thigh and closest towards our body. Normally squats would target the gluteus maximus, specifically the inferior portion of the gluteus maximus. However, placing the fabric band around the high thigh area will activate the gluteus medius and also the gluteus minimus. And this is because the band tries to pull our thighs inwards, but we have to consciously push our legs outwards and engage our gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. Although the gluteus medius and minimus are activated, the level of that activation is low for this band placement. So your glutes won't be burning or working that much. One look, the heat is rising, and I've been cold for so long. One touch. So the second placement of the fabric booty band is at mid thigh. So placing the band around your mid thigh will activate the gluteus medius and also the gluteus minimus. And that's because the band tries to pull our thighs inwards, but we have to consciously push our glutes outwards and engage that gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. Although the gluteus medius and minimus are activated with this band placement, the level of that activation is a medium level. So your glutes will be decently activated, but they won't be on absolute fire. You know these flames ain't going now This building is crumbling to the ground 
the third placement is low thigh. So placing the fabric band around the lower area of your thighs will also activate the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, just like the previous two placements. Although the gluteus medius and minimus are activated, the level of this activation is high for this fabric band placement. So with this placement, you're gonna feel that gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, aka your side booty on absolute fire. So you might be thinking why your side booty burns so much more when the band is placed at low thigh versus high thigh or mid thigh. Well, this actually comes down to physics. So in a super sciencey way of explaining this, basically to keep that band stretch, you have to use force and you're using less force in the first scenario because the force needed to stretch the band is over a wider movement range. Hence, you have to move a longer distance to stretch the band. So if you have a larger movement range to stretch the band and you want to stretch the band from rest to a constant stretch, at each individual movement, you would have to push less because the force is more spread out. If you have to stretch the band over a smaller movement range to get the band to whatever stretch state that is, then you're exerting more force. And this force is coming from your body or more specifically the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. So let's explain this in more simpler terms. Basically, when the band is placed at high thigh, there's less stretching of the band required to keep your hips abducted. Whereas if the fabric band is placed at a low thigh, you need to stretch the band a lot more to keep your hips abducted and your knees apart. So it's a lot easier and there's less glute contraction that's needed when the fabric band is placed at high thigh because it requires less tension and more glute contraction is needed when the fabric band is placed at low thigh because it requires more tension. So I really hope that made sense to you guys. Hopefully it wasn't too complicated of an explanation. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I might do a similar one for a different kind of exercise. I just wanted to use squats because it's a universal exercise that you know most people would know about. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of informative type of video instead of the regular workout videos. And yeah, if you did enjoy it, definitely make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos like this one. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and also the Luna by Lucy Instagram for launch date announcements of the new clothing line. I hope you guys have an awesome day because y'all deserve that. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.